Kiss 104.7, how you doing? Brian Corbett here, and as always, we pride ourselves on interesting people and guests on the show. With us, we have Jason Silent, who is the primary author and illustrator of the CompleteArtistBook.com. Jason, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me, man. All right. Now, before we get started, I have to tell all the listeners that Jason's latest illustration was featured on the Today Show and was featured on the cover of Time Magazine for Person of the Year. Am I right? Yeah, that's right. That is awesome. How did you get started doing what you do? Uh, very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, I've been doing, uh, you know, I, I've been drawing obsessively since I was probably two years old. And uh, I just, I've just never, I've never put my crayons away, let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, as a kid, I, it was drawing animals and fish and sharks. And then it was Ninja Turtles and Batman and everything else. And, you know, there was never really a plan uh it just, I got to a point where I was just really good at drawing people, and I really enjoy drawing people. And one thing led to another, and um, I'm also very competitive in nature, so I started noticing, um, you know, illustrations in magazines with portraits and caricatures and things, and thinking, you know, I could do that. You know, why not? Why, you know, so um, I started working towards it, and, it, you know, I've been working professionally since I was Fifteen, you know, it's been a it's been a long road. It's not like it just happened. I mean, um, I definitely sacrificed uh, social time, mm -hmm. friends in high school, and everything else. I pretty much uh, hung out with my best friend, the drawing table, and you know, that's that's all I've really done since I was a kid is just draw, draw, draw. So I'm not really surprised. I'm grateful and excited. Is really, you know. It's, it's a lot of work, but it's 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 a great way to make a living. It, it's definitely something that's a that's a part of your life, isn't it? Oh, of course. I mean, it's a it's a major part of my life. I mean, it will it will always be my mistress. Let's put it that way. People around me are just going to have to put up with it, um, <laughs> or they're going to be annoyed. You know. <laughs> I like um, that. I like that. Yeah. Describe your book. You know, it, it kind of captivated me because I was like, wow, just the title alone, the complete artist book dot com. Yeah, I mean, I've had I've, I have two books that are that have been put out. One of them was just on my caricature work, and the second one was also caricature work mostly, but sort of um, you know just a, a little bit of a, a gift to my fans. Um, but every single time I I put something out, I try to push it the furthest, and I, and I have a DVD out um, that is basically on sketching techniques and everything else. And my goal with that was. To not be so showy, like, you know, hey, look at me, look at me. It was more of, hey, let me show you all the techniques that I know, and hopefully it'll encourage and excite you to become, a, a, you know, a good artist, or at least be excited about becoming an artist or whatever. Right. And I've got another DVD out that's, that's even, that I'm pushing the envelope even more. I'm trying to um, push things. And there are so many art books out there, so mm -hmm. many books being made. You know, I really could care less about seeing another book on caricature. I don't ever want to see one of those. I'm not interested. It doesn't, you know, for me personally, um, I, I caricature, I use that as a tool in my work, but I don't consider myself a caricature artist. I'm not inspired or excited about caricature art. I'm into art in general, like solid drawing, solid painting, storytelling, um, you know, composition, all these kind of things. And and I'm more interested in, in, in creating work that's going to be epic and going to last a long time. And and also, you know, there's not a lot of books out there that, that can teach people how to actually make it as, as an illustrator or an artist. I mean, it's really a, a very fine line. It's not easy. It's very difficult. It's, com it's competitive. It's very stressful. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's, it's about the struggle and knowing how to get past the struggle. And so I wanted to put together a book that's not just a book. Uh, character or you know just showing images so this book is basically it's gonna it's gonna have a little bit of like a bio like you know like a biography channel type thing where I'm gonna share some really personal things struggles um, step by steps how I got where I am showing my failures I'm gonna show all these things in the book and explain what it was like to actually become the artist I am today um, also, there's a lot of insight from art directors from magazines like Rolling Stone, The New Yorker, New York Times, and, and many, many more. Um, there's going to be interviews with a lot of those kind of art directors and magazines. Um, and then I've, I'm 
there's a lot of tutorials that are going to be in the book. Um, uh, both, um, actually, even the Pope that I just did for Time Magazine uh, for the Person of the Year. Um, there's going to be a tutorial, a step by step, on how I created that painting, um, plus a bunch of others. There's going to be video tutorials. Um, I've, I've filmed myself drawing and painting several different paintings, talking about sketches, processes. And on top of that, then I've asked probably about, I think I got 12 or 13 of the world's top fine artists that are out there today, like I'm museum quality artists. And they've all been willing to be guest artists in my book, and they're going to share uh, stories and tutorials. Uh, there's even sections in the book about taxes and how to, you know, what do you do as an artist for financial things and all this right. kind of stuff. So right. there isn't a book that exists out there like this. This is going to be, you know, major. And I'm going to also share just my portfolio of work. And um, I'm really excited about it because it's it's an opportunity to put out a book that, you know, first of all, there isn't any artists um, in my genre. I'm, I'm a very, I'm, I'm, there's only, a, you know, <laughs> You know the movie Highlander, mm-hmm. where they have to like cut each other's heads off, and there's only a few of them that exist. Uh, there's only a few of us that are out there, and instead of cutting each other's heads off, I would like to work together and and help build up the artist community, you know, and and you know make it a, a, a more inspirational, exciting, educational thing, because uh, truthfully, art schools don't do enough, you know. And so I'm I'm hoping this book is something that will really show people what it's really like. To actually live and breathe and be an artist on a daily basis. It's not a hobby. This is so awesome. There's no other book out there like this. No, there's nothing like this. So that that puts you on a whole nother level, a whole nother track. And yeah. I, I'm just I'm just amazed. Now, how long is the campaign and where do people have to go to find out, you know, about Kickstarter and all that stuff? Um, well, I think you just go just look up the complete artist book.com and you'll find the page. I, I I think it's, it's it's kicking up. I mean, it's it's a good thing that I did. I just did the cover for time that I did because I think it's drawing some people to it. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it would be. I hope that we get enough support for it because I really believe that this is going to be something that you know that you know it, it, you're not going to be able to get anywhere else. And the the crazy thing was is I definitely have a lot of connections and friends in the industry, but um, I'm blown away by the guest artists that I got for this book because I mean they are literally the biggest top fine artist in in the world and and the thing is is um which might shock people you know there's not one guest artist in this book that is a caricature artist and people know me famously as being this character artist but i'm way more than that and my inspirations are not caricature they're more uh fine art and mm-hmm. and the kind of guest artist i have in a book and i really hope people understand really the magnitude of the talent that's going to be in this book. I mean, it's it's the only word to describe this book is epic. It's, there's no other. Uh, yeah, exactly. But real quick, how did the uh, Time Magazine? Uh, because you paint, and some of your clients include the Time Magazine, Billboard Magazine, Rolling Stone, and a whole lot more. How did uh, that's fascinating? How did all that come about? Uh, well, it wasn't an accident. I mean, <laughs> I I basically, um, you know, the, the way it really started was I I started off. Um, I intentionally uh, started seeking out really small, no-name magazines uh, early on in my commu- in my, my career because I I realized that big magazines like Time weren't going to give a damn about me. Right. And and so uh, what I started doing, I, I literally contacted magazines and said, "Hey, I've seen your covers; they're terrible. Um, here's my portfolio. I would love to offer my my what I do," and they're Every single one of them was like, sure, yeah. I mean, it was really easy, actually. And this is before Facebook and, and like, you know, the kind of um, uh, capability we have now to, to communicate with everybody. Mm-hmm. It was way harder to get in. I had to actually send letters, you know, in the mail. Right. And, um, yeah, the networking was, was a lot differently then. And basically I did a few covers, inside stuff, and um, and eventually – what ended up happening was the last cover I did for this magazine, it was a, a painting I did of Napoleon Dynamite. Um, I, my, I had an attitude change, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to do, I'm going to, 
I'm going to pretend that I'm doing this cover for Time Magazine, and I'm going to do, put every single thing I have into this thing and make it the best cover possible, even though I'm only getting paid like 200 bucks. Right. And so um, I, what ended up happening was I ended up creating like one of the best covers I had ever done at that time, and I had never worked for those magazines ever again. In fact, the next job I got was um, a painting for Time Magazine um, for a, this thing called the Time 100. And it was a very small little illustration. But then from then on, my, my career started building. I started working for Sports Illustrated, um, you know, the, the Wall Street Journal. And it, it just built up to magazines like the Weekly Standard, which I've done like over 60 paintings for by now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, pr- I mean, I've pretty much done paintings at this stage for every single magazine that's out there. And it's just a slow process of just building and building and building. And, you know, I don't lose the passion for it, you know, like, um, every single time I get called by Rolling Stone to paint some, something for them, it's like this adrenaline rush and this an excitement that I can't, ex- you know, really explain. You know, it's, it's, um, you know, I just love drawing, love painting, and I. And the other thing is, you know, you never stop pushing yourself. You never feel, you know, you don't want to be a stagnant, you know, little swamp in the middle of a lake. You want to be a flowing river, right? You want to always move and grow, and so. I'm always pushing and pushing and pushing. So mm-hmm. it, it's, I don't really know what's around the corner. I mean, I've, I've done about 10 interviews so far since the time cover, and everyone asks me, like, what's next? You know, you've done probably one of the biggest things you could ever do in your career. And for me, what's next is, you know, whoever calls me next to, to do an illustration. Like, I just love doing it, and I can't wait to, to do the next one. And uh, hopefully I do a lot more time covers and whatever else from here on, but really I just want to, keep getting away with drawing for a living. It'd be awesome. All right, man. Well, really appreciate it, and uh, good luck to you. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, Jason, thank you so much. Yeah, for, for sure. Take care, man. Keep it locked in. We got much, much more. It is KISS 104.7.